All right, guys, I'm here with Ian. I want to ask you, so why did you choose mountain guiding as your profession? Uh, you know, even from when I was young, even in high school, I knew when I grew up, I wanted to be a mountain guide. You know, I'm one of those people who was lucky enough to find what they wanted to do in life. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty early on, I even interned at a guide service and when I was a junior in high school. I used to go and hang out in like the local climbing shop every day and just like read a bunch of climbing books. I just loved it. Uh, and so then I kind of started got, getting into guiding when I was like around 20 years old. Did you like grow up around? Mountain, like Alpine mountains, or how, how, I, how did you come about that? I didn't, you know, I actually grew up in Hawaii, so I don't always okay. tell people that, but I moved to <laughs> Seattle when I was 14, and like okay. my high school had a really good outdoor program. One of the teachers used to be a Knowles instructor when they were younger, and he just ran an awesome That's outdoor cool. program. Like, you know, I climbed out near when I was like 15 with like some oh, buddies, wow. like it was, yeah, felt pretty lucky to have found that. So now, now that you've kind of found your passion and thing you love to do. I mean, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been guiding for 13 years. 13? So out of that 13, how long have you been with Mountain Madness? Uh, the whole time. The whole time? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So I guess what keeps you like coming back to Mountain Madness, like to climb with them and guide with them? It's just so much fun. You know, I wish I had a, a better answer than that, but I just <laughs> truly really enjoy it. You know, yeah. I love the people I work with. Yep. You guys will probably email Jamie. He's awesome. I love the whole guide staff. Like, yeah. you know, the whole crew. It's awesome. What do you guys do when you're off the mountain? Because you got to think, guys, I said, oh, like for a living, like I climb a mountain and I'm like out out of commission for like a week. You know, like you guys climb, you come down for a day, eat some burgers, and go back up. So when you have time off, do you just go into hibernation or like what you do you know, do? People always ask us, and I always feel a little bit bad. You know, I really <laughs> love climbing. Yeah. Um, and so on my days off, I go climbing. Uh, which I know it sounds lame. You know, I really, I always joke with people. I don't have like a real life. Like, I, you know, I rarely go to concerts, but yeah. I go climbing. If you know if the weather's bad, I go to the climbing gym. Yeah. It's snowing, maybe I'll go back and skiing. But I generally try to go well, climbing. I think that's why I love your profession because I hear people all the time. Like, I hear sometimes, hey, find that work-life balance. But sometimes I'll tell people like, you don't need that work-life balance if you love your work. You know, so I think that's a great way to say it. Even on your days off, you're working, you're climbing, but it's because you love what you do. It's true. No, I it's, I feel quite lucky that I do yeah. do what I get to do. If you could tell these people like one thing they should really research, really look into, like what do you feel is the most important piece of equipment when they are going to be climbing a mountain? You know, I think spending some time researching, like make sure you have a good backpack. It's like you know, can, uh, having a comfortable backpack and comfortable boots are really can like if your back hurts, your feet hurt, can really make or break your trip. So just like having a little bit, making sure that you like are happy with what you get is quite important okay um yeah and then i think <laughs> this too is um looking to the climb and how long you're going to be up there i think i made that mistake i was like right. I, need, I need a 60 liter bag like oh, i'm gonna yeah. pack my whole closet like i'm ready to go to live on this mountain so but i think that's a good point like really look into um what you're going to be using on the mountain right i appreciate it man. cool awesome thanks so much yeah